Huh? It's only open. All right. I, th I guess technically and academically it's open, but it's not functioning as a normal middle school right now. Maybe just have to make it open. How many kids? Your offerings may depend on your kids, and your kids are going to be dependent on your offerings. So you get kind of into this catch-22. Um, I have I put together an outline. You all have seen it. It's four pages of what I think a feasibility study should look like. And it takes into account those surveys. It takes into account projections and enrollment. And if we start to turn this district, um, you know, our teacher pay isn't up until negotiation until next fall. So are we going to be able to attract teachers to places like OMS before we get this, before we get our superintendent in place? I just, I feel like if we open OMS, we're kind of stuckling yeah. over a significant fault yeah. in this system and not starting from the foundation up and building this thing up the way it should be. We have, we have a there is a teacher, we don't have it in each anymore, that taught here, very successful, author, made a movie out of her book, taught at BMS, there's no room for her stuff, the administration didn't support her enough, she didn't, she didn't end up in school corporation, and it stayed. Uh, it, it's a very successful teacher and resource that we've lost because we didn't have uh, choices even for our teachers, much less for students. We have a teacher right now that has a sixth grade student if OMS isn't open, that teacher is going to quit and homeschool that child rather than send them to NSCS. So we have we have teacher issues in any way you go, right? I mean, it's st staffing is just a problem that needs to be addressed. So can we all and, agree and it impacts every solution. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, no. I'm just I'm just trying to. I mean, can we all agree that we need some type of a survey that we want to hear from those? Yeah. Okay, so who do we want to do the survey and when do we want, what's our timeline? Like, realistically, so who, who do we want to actually do the survey, come up with the questions, well, I think when are we going to get it done? I think Steve and Lucas, between the two of you, and working with Mr. Hudson, you, you or this administration, you know who our yes. families would be that are yes. our current 6th and 7th graders who would be our 7th and 8th graders next year. You know, we need to go down. Yeah. I know, yeah. but I mean, I'm talking about the immediate, yeah. the immediate yeah. enrollment for next year. Graders, sixth graders and elementary five. And, and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't think there's any harm in asking right. those, but, but they're not going to fill our halls next year. Right. Yeah, but we, no, need, but we need to keep them in NLCS so they fill our halls they, yeah, when they get there. Because if they don't they think, think there's going to be that, where are they going to go? So we need to include them. Is a survey the only thing we're going to do? I think we need more than a survey. Is there what other options do we have to do? I think Are that's we, a starting point, right? I mean, just yeah, surveys are just start a starting there. point. Just to see, I mean, we can talk all day long about what we think is going to happen, but until we hear from people what they want, we're not going to. Yeah. Know. So let's let's get that ball rolling. Do you, do you we think can. we need an open? I say announcement. That may not be the right word. A poll of teachers who would go to OMS if given the opportunity. Yes. Would that seem reasonable? Yeah, we should probably yeah. survey the teachers as well. Absolutely. Yeah. As well okay. as the the one parents. thing I worry about, so you say 100, 150 doesn't matter. It may matter significantly to teachers if they have to do a seventh and an eighth grade curriculum mm -hmm. in a stacked manner where they're essentially doing two jobs. Mm -hmm. Well, we've heard that's yeah. a hardship. Yeah. Yeah. If we just reach out to the teachers, then it has to be more than just would you or would you not. There has right. to be, I mean, they have to provide input because I mean, obviously, you know, they're going to be, they'll be the ones responsible. And, but how many uh, students does it take so the teachers wouldn't have that? I say right now, so, right now. 179 is what we had right before we left. And, I, you know, I don't know how they dice up. You guys probably know better than I. But during the consolidation, the, the goal, or the pro promise or goal, whatever it was, was no class would be over 25. And right now, 70% of the class of the BMS are over 25, at least 75. Yeah, yeah, the four classes in this. Yeah, so they really. Well, I mean, I mean there's other ways to get class right. size and, right. and, throw, right. and open up right. second and third school. Open. And then, it's just a. Then Stephen. Uh, you need to have are, choice for students and teachers. What, Stephen, Lucas, can you guys hear me? Yes. So. Since you guys are, the, I, I, this is just my feeling, but I think we should give you guidelines sort of, of what we want, but I don't want to be too prescriptive in terms of how we do it. I think we can give you the what we want and the how you do it and how you operationalize that is 
I mean, kind of what we're asking you to do. So I think if we come up with some, and people can disagree with me, that's fine too. This is just how I'm thinking. We can come up with some, you know, sort of major deliverables that we would like to help us as we as we move forward. But I think you two and whoever else we need as a resource have the, the talent and the expertise to come up with sort of how to get how to go about that. Um, I don't know that we need to tell you every I don't know what exactly what you should ask if like with the teachers because I agree with Scott we can't just make it yes or no there has to be some context around that for them so I would like to hear what you guys you as like um, Stephen uh, Lucas think about some you know ways of going about it. 